It's no secret that I am really looking forward to Super Mario's Bro Wonder. It is a game that, you know, forget the pun, looks wonderful. I, I'm so excited to see all the new crazy wacky ideas they come up with. Look, we've been doing that new Super Mario Bros. series for a long time. I mean, Wii and DS, which back when those platforms came out, I was basically graduating high school. That was a long time ago for me. So I'm really glad to see this new, fun, whimsical take on the side-scrolling Mario. And it, I'm honestly almost as excited for this as I was for Mario Odyssey back in 2017. I just need to see more, right? Like, that's my thing. I want to see more. Or more likely, I just... I really want to play this game. But we do have a rumor floating out there that I wasn't going to originally talk about based on where it comes from. And it's because I'm very skeptical of the source. However, a bunch of really big outlets like Game Rant and others are now picking up on the story. And since it's making rounds, I, I really wanted to talk about it uh, and clarify not only why I don't really trust the source, but they have had some stuff right and if what they say in this case is true, it's really interesting when it comes to Mario Bros. Wonder. So what are we talking about? Well, it's our friend Zippo. That's right. Zippo put up a new post on his Zippo's nonsensical ramblings and other stuff. He's been someone who has been in the insider slash leaking game with Nintendo for many, many, many years. I don't know if he's been banned at all the various forums that are typically where some leaks come from, but... Uh, he has really just thrown a lot of stuff at the wall and seen what has sticked, and so some stuff has come true, some stuff hasn't. But in this case, this is stuff that's a rumor on a game already announced. So we're not talking about a game coming. We know this game exists. So he's just telling us what the game is like and what's happening internally. Does he actually know any of this information? I don't know, but it is fun to read, and... In some cases, I really hope it's true. So what does he have to say here? Well, it says Super Mario's Wonder is not going to be an easy game, plus more details. Now, easy is relative. It's a Mario game. It's going to be easy. But when you think about, like, new Super Mario Bros. games, those were, like, really easy. So let's scroll down here and see what he has to say. So it says Super Mario Bros. Wonder is the first brand new 2D Mario in over a decade. But if you think this game is going to be a walk in the park, then you're in for a rude awakening. It's a Mario game, so of course it's going to be accessible for everyone. But I'm hearing that Nintendo has ramped up the game's general difficulty quite a bit. So much so that humorously, the game has apparently been absolutely decimating testers and people working and slash localizing the game. Talk about a challenge. So it would seem that the you know if he has sources on this, it would be from Nintendo's quality assurance team, uh, which they do have one here in North America. Now, in fact, internally, Nintendo has called Wonder the next Super Mario Bros. 3. And that does feel like something a game tester could come to a conclusion on. Super Mario Bros. 3 is considered one of the more difficult side-scrolling Mario games. I don't know if it's the most difficult personally, but it's definitely not easy, right? Uh, scrolling down, in terms of control, physics, and core difficulty, Super Mario Bros. 3 is apparently the main game Nintendo decided to base Wonder off of. Also, I'm not sure how many people who read my blog have actually played Mario 3, but it was hard. Those last few worlds will wreck your shit. I'm serious. And yes, as I said, it's, it's, it's a fairly difficult game, especially late game. We can already see the inspiration in a few ways. Firstly, take a look at the trailer once again. Notice how much faster Mario and company are. They've not been this fast since at least Super Mario World, I'd say. Also, the platforming seems to be much more precise and tight, rather than the new Super Mario Bros. series loose controls and physics. A huge improvement in my mind. We can also see inspiration in the story so far. It's following a similar beat to the story of Super Mario Bros. 3. In that game, Mario and Luigi travel Mushroom World to save the rulers of kingdoms that neighbor the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, once again, it looks like we're doing that here. This time, we're traveling to the neighboring Flower Kingdom, where it looks like Bowser and his troops are invading the kingdom for some sort of mysterious purpose. Lastly, I've been told there's going to be a lot of power-ups. He says, actually says going to be a lot of power-ups. I think he means a lot, or at least put lots with an S. Anyways, nitpicking aside. Uh, so get ready to see some of your favorites return, including, and he's saying that these are in the game. So we got what the raccoon suit, 
Uh, Mario looks like uh, Ice Mario. Mini Mario, I think, is the the, the inference here. A, a mini mushroom. Uh, then he goes on to say, and th and that's just a few power ups will be seen in the game. All in all, the game is obviously sounding amazing. I'm also elated to hear that the difficulty has been ramped up. It's been ages since the last challenging Mario game. I'm chopping at the bits for the next big bit of info to show up. Now, my big thing here, of course, is look. I don't. I, I don't believe pretty much anything that Zippo says. Uh, but I want him to be right, and that's one of the reasons why we made this video. It, it, it could be right, by the way. I want to be clear. My skepticism on Zippo is entirely my own. You might have skepticism as well, but I just feel like he's thrown so much out there that hasn't happened. Like people get critical of Jeff Grubb, you know, and the few things that he got wrong. Like Zippo's like times a million when it comes to that without the other side of having a bunch of stuff correct. But he has been right on some things. And there was a report at one point, or at least uh, a, a well-known, now retired insider, Emily Rogers, who noted that while she doesn't know if Zippo is legit, uh, Zippo was talking about some things. And this was like, I don't know, a year or two ago at this point that she mentioned that she had heard about, but she thought the fault of Zippo was that he would put information out so early that as things change, uh, some of that stuff doesn't happen. And then it obviously hurts his credibility. And that uh, to me is really the biggest person to vouch, uh, for potentially Zippo being legit. But what I do know is I do want Mario wonder to be difficult and I do want it to have a ton of power ups. And if that is true on both accounts, I'm going to be thrilled. I, I will say Watching the gameplay footage, I just watched the trailer again today for like the 50th time, and it does look like the controls are a bit tighter and that, you know, we could be dealing with some more intense platforming. And I will say, power-up wise, I don't really know. A lot of people keep telling me that like everything we see in the trailer comes from the Wonder Flower. I don't know that I buy that. I think the trailer doesn't really fully explain it all. But I will note that, hey, a bunch of power-ups is good for me. Returning power-ups is good for me. In fact, we'll probably need to make a video at some point talking about what power-ups we would like to see return, and you guys can share what power-ups you want to see return in that video. I think that would be a, a pretty interesting video to create a nice discussion on uh, returning power-ups in this. And we can start with these rumored returning power-ups and then go into other ones that you know are some fan favorites or maybe some obscure ones you guys haven't thought about for a long time that they could have new gameplay elements attached. I don't know. I'm really excited by this, and I'm really hoping that this rumor is correct. I want this to be a Mario Bros. 3 level game, not only just in terms of how big the game is and how many worlds there are and how many levels there are to play, but also in terms of the difficulty and the item variety. If it does that, Mario Wonder, correction, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, let's get that name correct, might become my favorite side-scrolling Mario game. And that's going to be tough to do because right now Super Mario World is my favorite with three like right there. It's like they're basically touching tips, right? Can it pass those games? I guess we'll find out this upcoming October 20th. By the way, if you haven't pre-ordered the game yet, you can go ahead and pre-order the game through our link down in the description as well. Uh, it does give a small kickback to the channel, so I do appreciate if you use our pre-order link. And hey, I'll catch you guys in the next video.